all I want to tell you is, if you don't want this information on the blogs, this information what right here, it? this information right here, this information right here that what I got. Hey guys, her raise. It's your girl Brit Brock going live with the Re Talk and Bay Squad. We got to talk about Nicki Minaj ending beefs. We got to talk about Tasha K doing a stump. And of course, we got to talk about Miss Lauren Hill. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fifth vegan water, and let's get into the match, shall we? So, Bay Squad, if you caught the video I did yesterday about fans being upset with Lauren Hill being late, then you would notice she also said in that video that she wanted to release a sophomore album, but the industry wouldn't let her. And I'm just like, Lauren, if you're gonna tell it, at least tell the truth. The industry definitely wanted a second album. The problem was she fell out with her team of writers and bandmates from the first album, the legendary The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. And she did not want that sophomore album curse because it was going to sound completely different. Everybody who was on the first album did not want to work with her and they already spread her tea that she was difficult, which she was. I mean, Wyclef Jean, her former lover, put that out there or whatever, but we just sticking with the facts right now. So the fact that Lauren Hill is trying to make it seem like the industry was just out to get her, that's not true. They wanted their money and they were like, look, you're a cash cow and now you're turning into a cactus. But it is what it is. Let's get into Tasha K, baby. Tasha K has been trending for the good the bad the ugly and the indifferent and here is the ugly you see this florida girl out here stomping like she's praising jesus and i'm like baby was she on the black people's sweet tea or was she on the mexican holy water what was it tasha what made you do this down at the we in miami podcast okay it's crazy and of course we got her favorite soccer out here wishing you know the worst for the both of us I just feel like this. Tasha K is literally in her redemption era. You are doing the work. So whatever caused you to stump that man out, I pray it was a good reason. I really do because I like you, Tasha. I do. With your messy ass. Release the tapes. Now let's get into Nicki Minaj settling this beef between Soulja Boy and J. Cole. That's exactly what I said. I'm like, hey, he didn't say that, boo. I, now I want you to listen to me carefully, right? I have a, a special gift. Okay, and I'm not trying to be funny, right? right? Okay. I want you to breathe and do you feel right now in this moment, do you feel love around you? Not on the internet, in your real life. I feel love. I, I'm definitely love for sure. You know what I'm saying? I get a lot of love. But it's just like... But do you... No, I didn't ask you, do you get love? See, getting love and feeling loved are two extremely different things. And that is... And I'm so glad you said that. That's why motherfuckers got the internet killing them. Because as people do not understand the fucking difference. I feel that. I asked you, do you... Right now, behind off the internet, do you feel loved? I feel love. I feel love, Nikki. No care. I feel By the love. people in your in your inner innermost circle. Of course. Good, good. Because I I really want that for you. I like you deserve it, and I I want that for everybody. Like I truly want that. I want people to really stop trying to front for the internet. And not saying that you do. I don't think you do. But you know what I'm saying. Like, people who post some pictures every day about, and then shit don't, ain't even happy. You know, we got to get back to the place where we, where we don't give a fuck <laughs> what no, no internet say. Nah, and, that's a fact. And as long as we know, and we waking up happy in the morning, giving that's God the glory. I'm gonna try to chill out. I'm gonna try to chill out. I love this messaging. Shout out to the queen. And I really do feel like a lot of people play on Soulja Boy's top as if he didn't do a lot for hip hop. He literally transformed the hip hop game. But it is what it is. People just don't like to give credit. And I'm happy Nikki told him he was an icon and told him how he is loved and he's looking healthy. And I'm here for it. Are y'all here for the queen? Are y'all here for some new music? How are y'all feeling about these topics, Bay Squad? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.